Uh, it's really cool. The only thing that kind of has me a little bit confused here is... What? Is she an A rank or is she an S rank? Am I missing something? Do we... I don't think we have the information. Subscribe, please! Hello there, a new video coming up because we have the most recent drip marketing after the post from yesterday showing off Caesar King, we now have another member of the Sons of Calidon. And this time we have the happy-go-lucky looking Bernice White. You don't seem too fired up. Need a little spark from Bernice White. Not bad, right? I made this nature fuel with a brand new flavor using a special ingredient that I got from the city. What, you're going back to the truck for a nap? You don't want to be too hyped up after finishing your drink, right? Speaking of which, you've got a vehicle. I've concocted some of my own super efficient fuel. You should give it a try. So this tells me that she she makes drinks, I guess. So she, she could be like a, a bartender or something. Um, but she also makes fuel for the Sons of Kindness, I guess. Um, I'm not too sure. I guess we'll see. So let's look into the pictures. Uh, let's look into her. She looks very, very cute. Uh, we actually saw her in the cinematic, just like a lot of the characters, of course. I think she was the one driving one of the motorcycle. Um, and uh, yeah, we've been kind of waiting for some information on her. And we can see that she's actually Fire Anomaly. Which is very interesting to me, because obviously uh, we are getting Jane Doe, who's going to be Anomaly. And when it comes to Anomaly teams... Um, there is some benefits to having two different types, because... When you cause an anomaly effect, if you cause anomaly effect of a different type within like 10 seconds, I believe, of the first anomaly, it will create a disorder, which depending on which effect were used for the disorder, is gonna have a certain impact, generally just a bunch of damage, stuff like that. So that is pretty cool. Obviously, I'm sorry, my cat is crying every time I'm speaking and record a video. He wants attention, even though he didn't care before. <laughs> he was just a crybaby. Anyway, uh, I, so very interested, very interested to see if she's going to be good, if she, you will be able to use her with, your, with the like of Jane Doe. Um, I could see maybe a team like Jane Doe, Bernice, Lucy work pretty well, maybe. Uh, I guess we'll find out in the future. Anyway, uh, on to the rest we are having some quotes. Bernice, keep away from Steel Tusk gas tank, Piper Wheel. Uh, so Steel Tusk, I assume, is the big truck they have. Kiwi, dude. No. She's a very social person. Even when a will show up, you have to have a couple of nitro fuels with her before leaving. Lighter. So Lighter is actually um, another, the guy from the Sons of Kaidons. We've seen him, he's in the game as well. You can meet him, talk to him for like a small like event. Uh, but yeah. Am I imagining things? Whenever Bernie shows up, the little boy seems a little redder. Luciana obsesses Theodoro de Montefio. I don't know what that means. Does, is she saying that her boars are like blushing when she's around? Uh, I'm, I don't know what that means. Uh, Luciana is obviously Lucy, if you don't know. Ha ha ha, excellent. Bernice drinks never disappoint. Caesar King. So she seems to be a, a barmaid or like a, 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 she makes drinks, a, a mixologist or whatever. Uh, okay, then we have I come, I see, I crash. I assume this is, um, I thought this was a quote from Caesar King before. Uh, it seems to maybe just be um, the motto of uh, the Sons of Kaidons, right? So very, very cool here. And uh, here we get to see a little bit more of her outfit, actually. Uh, she looks great. She has, a... she has a nice outfit. I, I kind of like the, the, the crop top leather jacket with the spikes. The, 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 the skirt looks good. You can never go wrong with some red and black, right? Uh, so I think like, oh, others? Oh, yeah, she's definitely, th that's a flamethrower. And these two, I assume. Yeah, she's definitely using flamethrowers. Okay. Um, all right, maybe she makes drinks, and you, you know those drinks that like they they use a blowtorch <laughs> at the end to like I don't know 
I don't know what's the point of it, but they do that. Uh, that's giving me those kind of vibes. Um, all right, interesting. Uh, very, very cool. Moving on, we actually have, I do believe, there it is. We have got a little introduction, voice clip. Oh, we see the shoes too. Okay, so here she does say mixologist indeed. What has me a little bit... Um... Yeah, the, the, the boots, long boots, we got the absolute territory, whatever they call it. Uh, it's really cool. The only thing that kind of has me a little bit confused here is... What? Is she an A rank or is she an S rank? Am I missing something? Do we? I don't think we have the information. And I'm asking this because... Um, the first we had yesterday was obviously Caesar, and now we have Bernice. And I went back to make sure I wasn't tripping balls, but when they did the drip marketing for 1.1, they drip marketed Xinye, Xinji, Xinyi first on the 6th of July, and then they drip marketed Seth on July 9th, and finally they drip marketed Jane Doe on the 12th of July. Now, why I find this interesting is the fact that, um... oh my God, Kiwi. He's so obnoxious. I'm so sorry. Why I find this interesting is the fact that the order here, I, I wonder if this means that Bernice is a four, a four star or A rank. Um, in terms of design, she seems way more to be an S rank, especially when you compare to Lighter. This is where you can see me, him in game, he's in front of the gadget store and you can have a conversation with him real quick. Um, I, I would feel like this would be more A rank-ish. I feel like it's not super detailed, it's not super complicated. Uh, and also, I mean, let's be real, the Tentumet, um girl characters, uh, S rank, um, I, I feel like she has more potential in terms of, um, being marketed to the community, uh, the, the people playing the game, right? Uh, for obvious reasons. And, um, what has me curious is that it's not like Seth, it's not like this is the release order, right? It is for the first character. It's like Shinyi was phase one. And she was drip marketed before Jane Doe, who's phase two. But Seth actually comes out at the same time as Jane Doe. Seth is not going to be on phase one's banner. Which is why I'm very confused, because I thought, like, maybe there's a pattern, right? Um, so is this just random and it decided to put Seth second just because maybe it's the idea that, like, okay, they put a four star in the middle. But in that case, does that mean that Bernice is also a four star? Or was he in the middle because he's also from Neps and we technically don't know uh, Jane Doe's uh, faction, right? Um, so I'm not super, super sure here, honestly. Um, I think it, it really does have me kind of stumped, not gonna lie. Uh, also, interestingly enough, uh, they seem to have changed. Um, yeah, they, they didn't use to actually show what the character uh, was doing here, right? You can't see Defender, you can't see Electric, except for Shinji, but here, uh, for Bernice, you do see her element right away. And I'm pretty sure they did the same for Caesar right there. Yeah, so they changed their format, right? Um, so, is she in the middle for random reasons? Or are they just trying to hype the five-star characters and... Uh, it was just a fluke or, you know, just something random, a coincidence that the four star was in the middle. Was it because they wanted to put the two characters that like thematically like in the same team next to each other, even though Seth was coming later? Uh, I'm not really sure. I think it would be a shame if this character is a A rank agent uh, because she looks adorable. Um, and I I'm really looking forward to more anomaly character. Um, we don't have a fire anomaly yet that I, I don't think we do. 
Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm really a bit stumped about this. Uh, maybe I'm just reading way too much into it and the order of the drip marketing really does not matter. Uh, but yeah, it's just something that... That was the first thing that came to my mind since we saw Caesar. I was wondering who is going to be the S rank. And I was thinking, well, if they do the same as Seth, the next character we see is actually going to be the A rank. And then when I saw Bernice, I was very surprised. So I'm probably reading way too much into it. I wish, I really, really, really wish they would uh, show the, the rank of the character. Maybe it's in here because like it's very style, um, stylized. Um, so, so maybe it's in here. I just haven't really realized it. Uh, like for for the games like Wooden Waves, it's like a number of star in the corner. It's like one, two, three, and then the fourth one separated. If it's like a a four star instead of a five star, that kind of stuff. But here, I really don't see any indication regarding the rarity of the character. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know um, if you like the design. If you would like to pull for her in the future. Uh, personally, so far, I actually really dig the design of the Sons of Calidon. I really like Lucy. I think she's adorable. I love her little summons. I think that both Bernice as well as Caesar looks amazing. I don't really care about the, li the guy, not gonna lie. Hey, it is what it is. I think he looks kind of boring. Uh, but so far, I really like this place. I can't talk about Piper. I kind of like Piper. I wish I had her. She goes kuru kuru. It makes me very happy. Unfortunately, she's the only a rank character I still do not have on my account, which drives me mad. And she's... Ah! <laughs> so yeah, anyway. Let me go, well, let me know what you guys, uh, what you guys think, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully, we'll get some information soon regarding who's going to be A-rank or S-rank and whatnot. And uh, yeah, bye! Take care of yourselves.